Hi, I'm Kai Waza, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk uh, candles. Haven't really done a candle thing in a while. Uh, I have been a, on a bit of what we call a wax ban because my cabinet was pretty much full. And I haven't really gotten any good coupons lately. Uh, <clears throat> so I thought, well, let's just hold off on, on buying anything. But I've burnt some things lately and I have a little bit of room. And uh, I finally got a decent uh, coupon in an email from Bath & Body Works because lately I haven't been getting any good coupons from them. Uh, but I got a 25%, I, I know many of you did, 25% off uh, your total purchase in an email. And then also their candles went on their, their usual sale of 2 for 24 with every additional candle $12. So I thought, okay, because that kicks the price down to $9 and a little bit of change, basically. So that's pretty decent. So I went... Uh, yesterday and bought a few things. Not too many, only five. But let's just go through what I got uh, at Bath & Body Works. I got a, from the White Barn uh, fresh water and sea salt. I didn't have this one already. I hadn't gotten it before. And it's a very light scent. Uh, the, the notes here says uh, water, crisp water notes, sea salt crystals, and a hint of citrus citrus. To me it really smells like baby powder with a bit of a sea, a sea spray sort of smell. Pleasant, light, smells nice, should be good. Another light one that I got. I don't know why I never paid any attention to this. This has been out for a while and I, I never, I don't think I even sniffed it when I was in the store before. But this is eucalyptus mint. It's a very nice one. I don't know if you can see the little lid there mint. Spearmint, what's it say? Spearmint and eucalyptus essential oil. Another one that's light, but I think it will be very pleasant. Um, this one, I already have. I didn't realize it. I just, I didn't realize I already had one, but I got another one now. <laughs> uh, pineapple palm grass. I'm sort of a sucker for pineapple scents. I do love the taste and the scent of pineapple. And this is uh, nice, pretty much straight up pineapple, I guess, with a little bit of a, a green or leaf scent to it. And it's very pretty orange color. I like it. And then uh, I got from, uh, this is a newer collection. I don't think this has been in since I've been in the store. Uh, Lilac Blossom. Now, uh... This scent, I have to tell you, uh, when I was a, a kid in upstate New York, I grew up in the Finger Lakes area of upstate New York as a small kid, and uh, we had a lot of lilacs in the neighborhood, and this scent really, really takes me back to my childhood. So this is a nice, nice scent, that one. Now finally, what I picked up, this may seem a little strange, was Happy Easter <laughs> uh, Cotton Candy Marshmallow. I love this scent. And the thing is, okay, you may find this hard to believe, but we didn't actually have this in our store here during the Easter season. I went a few times during the season, and I, it was never, we never had it. Never had it at the sale or anything. So this is the first time I've gone into the store and seen Happy Easter, so... Of course I had to get it, because cotton candy, marshmallow, who doesn't like that? That's the five candles that I got. Um, they, I was looking online, and there were several uh, things that, you know, they didn't even have in this store. Pomelo, something, whatever. There were several things that I was looking forward to smelling when I went into the store. Uh, but they didn't have them, so, oh well. Uh, they did give a coupon this time. Uh, Tahiti Island Dream. I'm not actually sure, but I don't think this was even in the store when I went. I didn't see any of it. There, there wasn't a candle. And I see that Candle Dancer got a Tahiti Island Dream candle. I hate you because I want that candle. And we'll probably never get it. 
anyway, so you get a free signature collection body care item from this Tahiti Dream Island. So, uh, with a $10 purchase. So maybe I'll get, if they have, I don't know, if they have a body wash in it, that would be nice. Uh, the other thing I got, other things I got were uh, Illuma lids for Yankee candles. I only have one of those. It has little angels on it. And our uh, Bed Bath & Beyond does not carry the Illuma lids. And the Hallmark store that carries Yankee candles here occasionally has Illuma lids, but not all the time. And only like four or five or whatever when they have them. They just get a very few in and it's whatever it is. So I actually went online on eBay looking around and I found a couple of cute ones. Um, this one has little coffee cups on it. I thought that was cute. And it says coffee. I'm a barista. I have been for many, many, many years and I love coffee and espresso. So, And then this one has tropical drinks on it. And that's very appropriate for me also. So that's my haul and uh, next we will discuss candle empties because I haven't done a candle empty so we'll see what I've been burning. Alrighty then, so now we're going to get into a candles empty uh, empties. These I can never say that. Candles empties. I'm going to tell you what I've been burning anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, not too much, you know, a few things. A couple of these little Glade things that I got for $1.50 at an after Christmas sale. I've just been burning them in my little foyer area by the front door. The Christmas cookie one. It smells so good. And I did burn this sparkling pine I was in the mood for some pine and whatever I mean it was a dollar fifty but it was a really crappy burn for whatever this one never pulled out evenly and never I even foiled it if you can imagine it but if it, it just never but it was okay it smells good I mean it was a dollar fifty you know let's see uh, from Bath and Body Works I was burning black tie this one is is nice. It's a men's cologne scent. It was fairly strong. Uh, really good performance. The wicks were fine. It had no... Uh, well, near the end, it did get slightly puny wicked, I will say. So I did pour some out near the end. But it was fine after that. I like that. I would get it again. The, there's something out now that's kind of like it. Bourbon and something or other... It's not exactly like it, but it's kind of similar. I didn't get it at the sale, but it is similar. Um, Blackberry Bramble Tea. This is a nice one. It has uh, good, you know, it had good performance, no problems with the wicks or anything. And again, it's Bath and Body Works. It's fairly strong throw. Uh, and it was. Uh, yeah, you definitely get a bit of tea and also the blackberry with that one. I was happy with it. Pumpkin cinnamon bun. We went through kind of a rainy period here a while back where it was raining a lot and it was a little bit cold for us. And so it got me in the mood for, you know, this kind of thing. And I have plenty of them. Uh, pumpkin cinnamon bun, Bath and Body Works. It's very strong thrower. Great burner, no problem with the wicks. Filled the house. I mean, this you just smell like you were sticking your head in a vat of uh, cream cheese frosting. Almost sickening, really, but I loved it. Yeah. Uh, I did do a tart, too. Where did, oh, a couple tarts I did. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Okay. I did a cinnamon stick tart which is just pretty much straight up cinnamon stick. Cinnamon, very nice. I also did a turquoise, Yankee Candle Turquoise Sky. This one is nice. It's sort of a, sort of an old lady's bathroom scent. My grandmother's bathroom sort of had this scent to it. I don't know what it is exactly. Maybe a little bit of baby powder and kind of a watery, perfumey scent. 
It's very pleasant. Uh, lastly, I want to talk about this candle that was sort of the bane of my existence while I was burning it. Why I attempted to burn it as long as I did, I don't know why. Stubbornness. This is from Brookside Candle, and it's called Vineyard Retreat. It was really pretty. It was cheap. I got it at like TJ Maxx for $6 or something. And when I sniffed, it was very pretty. It had three layers of wax, like a, a lavender, a light green, and then this more dark purple. And I thought, okay, Vineyard Retreat, you know, it's going to be like a grape smelling with some, maybe some earthy scent and some leaf scent to it, right? Um, although it was pretty grapey when I smelled it on cold sniff, I thought, surely when you burn it, you know, it's going to have some additional scent come out. No, this candle is freaking, you know, grape Kool-Aid. That's what it is. It's like they just, it's like you're snorting grape Kool-Aid, okay? I mean, it's really pretty strong. Single wick candle, pretty strong. I burnt it everywhere, in the foyer, in the bathroom, in the main room. Um, and I just kept going okay surely you know maybe because it was three layers I thought maybe when it gets to the second layer there's a, a little different scent and some there would be some leaf greenery smell or something no it was the same scent through all three layers uh, when it got to the end I just put it on the the uh, candle warmer for a while I thought to extract a little bit more but I just stopped. I actually, and I very seldom do that with a candle, but I just gave up. I said, I am so done with this stupid candle because it just smells like freaking grape juice. I mean, not grape juice, grape Kool-Aid. I mean, it's that very artificial kitty grape Kool-Aid smell. And hated it, okay? Don't buy this candle unless you really like grape kool-aid it's a no okay i don't like it anyway i guess that's it for today so thank you for watching and bearing with me and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos i'd love to hear from you guys if you have any experiences with any of these candles or thoughts or ideas i'd love to hear from you so have a great weekend and thank you for watching